What's up you guys, it is Kotetsu here and today we are going to be talking about the Marvel Avengers War Table that happened a couple days ago. Now this War Table was talking about the beta, our new hero that we got which was Hawkeye, and the Avengers Initiative which I'm assuming that that's going to be more characters and more story missions and co-op missions, but we can talk about that in another video. But today we're just going to be talking about what you can expect from the beta if you decide to download this yourself. Now before we get into this video, make sure you guys like and share the video with people. Also subscribe to the channel and check out my Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash Tetsu. That's where we're going to be streaming for just for a little while. I don't know how long, but that's where we're going to be streaming at. But anyway, enough for me. Let's get into this video. Now the developers did mention before we actually get into the co-op section of the beta, and we're going to be getting some story missions to play just to kind of set the tone and to get used to the heroes that we will be using in the in the beta now the first story mission we're going to be getting is a day yes i know we've all seen the footage a million times but a day is meant for us to learn each character how they play how traversal works and i think that's a great idea instead of just kind of throwing us into the into the beta and the co-op stuff and learning on the fly they're kind of giving us uh, a little bit of a tutorial to how to use each character plus i would love to be able to play a day again like i still love the footage i still watch it because it just gets me really hype and it just looks super enjoyable and in addition to the a day story mission we're gonna be getting two more story missions on top of that i believe three or four i think three four where we're going to be uh going to this nice little lush area where supposedly it is the last known location of Jarvis and another mission I believe I think it's called the missing link where we're going to be finding out more about shield and we're going to be running into another boss battle which is against abomination now just to look at these two um, levels and how they're constructed they look really cool um, of course one level is going to be kind of nice and close quarters but the other one is going to be uh, open so then we can be able to try out the traversal in the game I think having these two missions are great because it gives us more time to especially with Kamala Khan because that's when she's introduced it gives us more time to mess around with Kamala and we get to play more sections with the Hulk so you can't really be mad at that you know I think it's nice that we're getting these story missions because we are you know setting the tone for what we're going to be expecting in the full game in terms of the story now next we're going to be talking about the co-op section of the game the the modes and the progression in the game or should i say in the beta now first we're going to be talking about the harm room which looks like an x-men danger room training facility where you fight in this holographic arena and you get to take on waves of enemies either with friends or with uh, ai companions which is nice, you know, I would, I love to have something like this. I'm very glad they, they added something like this into the game. Uh, I just love to be able to just take on waves of enemies at a time and just <laughs> try to survive with my AI companions or with uh, people I'm playing with. It seems really fun. It's just super, you know, action packed here. And I just, I love, love being able to be involved in stuff like this. So I think it's gonna be really fun. It'd be a nice place to, like I said, learn you know learn characters and learn which move sets to have to wear when you get on the actual drop zone and war zone missions kind of know what you're, you're doing with your character next up we're gonna be talking about war zones now war zones look like they are going to be the meat of the co-op experience in this game of course it's going to be with four four companions either your ai or with you know your friends and they look really really cool now they said that these could span from either 10 minutes to two hours as you know this game is going to be really you know heavy with loot and and gear and cosmetics you know why not have a mode that's going to um really reward us you know whichever mode you play and i'm assuming that the two hour ones are going to be the harder ones like it did mention uh recommended powers power levels for each characters to have before tackling these so it is expected that, you know, say like a level a recommended 45 or a recommended 50 is probably going to take that much time, but you can and will expect to see greater rewards taking these kind of missions on. 
and I think <laughs> if we did that in the beta, and yeah, if we did that in the beta, that would be a full live stream if we did that. A <laughs> two hour one, that's a full live stream right there. But it'll be fun. I can't wait, man. I honestly can't wait to, to jump into this beta and just have fun with it. Now, next up are the drop zones. Now, the drop zones, they uh, imply that they're going to be a little bit shorter, uh, not too objective heavy. Really just kind of getting in, taking out everything, and getting out. And they also mentioned that it's a great place to grab loot and to uh, level up your characters as well. So uh, just having modes like this is actually really fun and just really interesting to just to be able to play and get my hands on. I, I honestly cannot wait, man. It's going to be so cool playing with these characters and, and going through these modes. So I, I cannot wait for it. Now next up is going to be the beta progression, which is your character uh, progression in the beta. Now, your your characters don't carry over to the full game, but the nameplates they mentioned, you can carry those over to the full game, letting everyone know, hey, I participated in the beta. Now, the beta progression, of course, that has to do with your loot and your movesets and gear and cosmetics, I'm assuming, and all that, but because it is beta progression you can only carry it over to the next session of the beta now say on friday when everyone you know whoever pre-ordered it you get to play first you know you play for those that nice little full-on weekend and then they open back up on the 14th for ps4 owners and you can just continue your progression from there with your friends so that's really what that's going to be and they they even said that in terms of characters progression and gear what we're getting in the beta isn't even a small portion of what's going to be expected in the full game but i'm really hoping that this game does um give us that kind of experience there where it's just going to be just non-stop customization and all of that which i plan to do another video talking about the longevity of this game as well but as far as just beta progression um your characters and all your gear only carry over to the next beta session when you get the full game you're gonna have to start over but that's the whole fun of it right starting from scratch and that is going to be it for what we're going to be expecting from the beta hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did do me a favor leave a like share and subscribe and also follow me on twitch which is twitch.tv slash kotetsu where we're going to be live streaming this beta now i have some footage on youtube as well like the the story footage is on youtube just you know for my content i'll have it on there but when it comes to live streaming we're going to be on twitch man hopefully you guys will come down and either play along with me or just you know watch me have a good old time because you guys know how hype i am about this game but anyway guys that's gonna be it for me hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys on the next one you guys take care